this is Kabeel and I'm back uh, here with another tutorial and today we are going to make whiskey so not the real whiskey just a 3 render so for that uh, we are going to start with a cylinder for glass actually uh, so uh, I found out that uh, uh, glass of like a whiskey glass is about 3.8 inches so that's that tap in that so mm, and now we are going to share smooth actually you know what let's do this and another cylinder and about eight should be enough because we are going to subdivide it so why not uh, and 3.8 inches um, let me check if I'm recording because I'm recording this the second time okay yep let's uh, share smooth normals and what we're gonna do is tilt this faces right there and let's move it up a little bit but there let's select this vertices and um, I think whiskey glasses are more straight they don't have curve like this so let's give it this way control F grid fail now we can do is add another edge loop Or what we have actually done is extrude then control F grid fill yeah this is better way scale everything uh, of the scale uh, rotation and scale what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to add a solidify modifier bit much too much about that looks good pretty good yeah um, don't worry about this edge we are going to pivot it anyway so pebble to 0 0.001 should do it I guess yes that does the job numbers Let's go and harden the normals. Where is that thing? Shady. Yeah, about that. Now let's go back. Let's apply everything. And we have this beautiful clean glass. I don't want to see the sharp faces. Faces, I guess. Sorry. If I mispronounced that. So we are going to. This is about the right time to save our file. So whiskey oops yeah that's right whiskey class or uh, yeah whiskey class that sounds about right what we're gonna do next is we are just going to add an another plane this will be our four floor and what we can do is gz go into this thing face snap and gz Cheesy, oops, my god, G, Z, and control on the floor. So now it doesn't pips or pips very less, so that's done. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back there, going to select this exact middle point, and gonna select up to here. Control plus F, power right there, Shift A, P, and selection. So, uh, what we have done actually is uh, this is our glass, so let's rename that glass, and this thing is our whiskey. So, let's rename that. Uh, next step is to close this face, uh, more like 
close this area make it one attack but if you click just the F gives this weird shading issues so for that what we are going to do is control F and grid fill so now it's more even and um and you can move to the next step but the major problem with this thing is is the face of the indentation because we have to select it from this part so let's create this shift the a to select all and shift n to recalculate normals and we are done with this so face orientation goes right back there going to environment textures open i will use this thing so this is done so let's look how it looks and yeah it does not look like a whiskey card so let's make one So let's go into shade editor. New. Uh, let's call this a glass. So uh, I know uh, how normal people will make a glass. They will 1.1 roughness and transmission up to one. And I don't know what else. From okay, okay, okay. So we are not making with glass. So. Plus, <clears throat> yeah, so 1.1 transmission up to 1, and well, we can call it done, but this is not how you should do. Uh, okay, let's, let's hide this. This is not how you should do a glass. So, what we can do, we first thing is creating or putting in the right numbers so this is index of reflection which is a very useful tip uh, uh, very useful thing uh, while creating class because what we're going to do is we are going to this site which is by pixel and poly and we are going to find what exact index of refraction index of refraction value we should put in our glass so where is this search for okay so the basic glass is around like 1.5 and there are these different types of glass but we'll go for the normal one so let's do it 1.5 does make a little change so next thing is something you don't mostly use and that is light path this tool is really helpful so uh, what it does it actually uh, tells the shader how the light is traveling and how the uh, bounces are calculated and all those high level professional stuff which I also don't know but uh, what you can do is take your transmission depth and you can plug it into transmission so now it goes back to the normal so what we can do so the thing is uh, this thing are controlled by zeros and ones so it's like uh, zero is no effect and one is proper effect that kind of thing so uh, how do we do that in blender the one way to do that is I know is uh, color ramp so put the color ramp in between so as you can see the whole white is one so we don't want the whole white we want zero so what we do is this thing and now you can see it's back to the uh, transmission now you may say like it's the same effect if we can bump up the transmission up to one but uh, no just watch here okay
そうし、うん Okay, wait a second. I'm showing it to you the wrong way. Let's put this transmission right there. Let's shift this. So, watch here, okay? See these things? Let me put this a little down. Okay, so let's move forward with this. I'm going to duplicate this and bring it right away up. And now, what I want is the reflection. So we add this glossy depth to the factor and back into the roughness. So now it's all blurry. So what we have to do is go into one and turn it back to the zero. And then we put the black slider on this and make it a zero. Now you can see that it works like glass, right? So if you take this normal thing, you can see how reflective this surface was before. And now the only improved texture gives you this strong uh, rough a uh, little bit of rough surface and when you go right between there this creates a glass I can show you in a different example how this works we can create a UV sphere oh my god that is too big and about that G shift shared smooth and let's try to make it yeah let's give it that way going to solid mode normal this let's solidify this thing even thickness about right there okay so uh, what we can do is what Okay, let's clear the unwanted fire. I think I might mess up afterwards. Okay, so yes, let's use this class. Okay, so this is actually a pretty good example. The sphere, you can see how it is reacting to its environment. And if we have used this the normal way, it does not work. You might uh, say it looks the same way, but the moment uh, the changes are very very tiny. So It's a very minor difference. Uh, you probably can not see that, but uh, this is how it should be. And yes. So after this is done, what you're gonna do is go into vertex mode and create about that much geometry, and we're gonna duplicate it. Oh, I think I have already done that so let's uh, merge everything okay bring back our whiskey and we are going to do the same thing here but a little different way so let's go back there new it's going to share it to like path mm -hmm. Yep, the transmission depth to the transmission color ramp. We can hide this class if we want. 
first thing let's take this and one so it's working the way we want it to work then I'm going to add close the depth into the roughness and then color ramp sorry yeah. so now you can see this is about right but the most important thing going to use 1.333 for index of refraction this is what a uh, normal water is so uh, have you uh, you might have seen those examples of like lemon in water people use that to uh, sorry not lemon the egg in water where experts uh, use them to uh, measure some I don't know people do that very often so, so as you can see is uh, okay the freshness test I guess I don't know about it so you can see this how this water is magnifying the look of this egg the egg is small but it's, uh, it works like a magnif magnification glass in this thing so we have created the exact same thing i'm going to show you how it looks so for that we make our own egg which is a pretty big egg i guess so let's share smooth and about that about that size and now I'm going to place it right about there so now you can see how it magnifies the object this is the most important part in creating water and it helps to sell this effect a lot uh, even if you are uh, trying to uh, test your water like uh, the you the water shader you have created this is the most thing index of refraction and the proper roughness value so this is the best way to check and I think our egg looks fine so let's delete that ship share shader go back to shader so uh, the problem is uh, I think uh, made a mistake in this thing right mm, let's go back to hide this thing color lamp yeah about that right mm, yeah now it's probably refracting mm, it's a bit darker I guess I don't know why it's uh, so now it's properly done so let's bring our water okay let's go back 
so uh, I don't think so like no one wants to drink water so let's create the whiskey we wanted so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna duplicate this thing and uh, I'm going to keep it with the exact same way but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the whiskey colors from Google whiskey colors and I think you can create uh, many different types of drink using this trick uh, I don't know the exact index of reflection values for the string if it does have those things but uh, let's stay with the water and try to create that thing mm, I like that this color it's a bit hard or a softer whiskey like this yellow let's go there and let's do that so uh, I think mm, you will be all thinking like if I could have done this color change so why does I duplicate it this actually you know what hold on let me just change the color of this whiskey mm, a bit warmer I think this is better yeah this looks better so uh, you might think that uh, there is some issue with the shader but this is a duplicated face so it's clipping so what we can do is shift uh, scale shift z let's just go in this view let's go here i'm a bit like that and this is done so it's about done so the last step is uh if we could create this just a color change so why did we did this the point we uh did this thing is i'll show you in a second first let's take the whiskey references let me find a good reference okay this one is bad oh, no. I think this is a render this one looks real so as you can see is uh, um, how this class of whiskey how this whiskey looks and it's so much saturated in the middle but on the top it's so reflective and looks like water but our whiskey is all strong and it looks like a concentrated drink so for that thing we have to mix these notes so you can hold shift and control and make a mixed note so uh, you can see this, this does not make any difference so for that we are going to use something known as layer weight click right here and we are going to use facing we are going to pump it up a bit like that and the best way to use is to see that it's actually oops yep. and uh, try to get a darker area here so once you see those darker areas you can just flip the shaders and now you have the perfect whiskey glass 
and that's it guys this was uh, this was uh, what I have actually made and I'm just gonna straight up those things and uh, this is it uh, uh, as you can see like if I separate in my whiskey um, it should have those white uh, reflective surface when it hits the light the most and you can see better in this image uh, not in this because uh, I don't know exactly what's happening here but this looks more real than uh, without things uh, without the layer weight let's bring everything to uh, okay uh, I'm actually uh, going to create a scene right here let's extrude this control B shade smooth this let's go by it right there and I'm gonna bring in camera right here about 85 mm lens wait back gy bar right there and yeah so now we are going to light us in so for that uh, we can close our hdri so for that oh my god this can yeah so first uh, i'm going to use a uh, area light uh, and so the main focus will be from here mm, what we call like a fill light or something like that so let's bring it about right there right there about right there okay so uh, one more thing we can do is this is looking good uh, however we have to um, change the value about 80 watts and I'm going to show you one more awesome trick so click your area light and click on use notes once this is done you have to search for light fall off after this is done so this tool helps you to uh, put your light in the exact possible way you want to put it so you can uh, search about it more in blender manual for now I'm just going to show you so I like to go with 00 start and then I, I increase the strength by holding shift just the amount of harshness I want and I just smooth it out along the way and this I'll get my perfect light setup so I'm just going to make this a black diffuse color maybe yeah about that and let's turn off this thing yeah so we can see better uh, let's go into the 3 viewpoint report and we need uh, something to show off our glass so let's add an another light or what we can do is just duplicate alt rg just bring it up top right there we can yeah all right there and we can go to the principal shadow and we can try to increase the l okay that will increase the other light too so 
let's go and do this okay let's not use this light let's bring in another area light we'll turn this to disk which is up a little bit all right there one meter is the ideal size now we have to um, Oh, that looks good let's go into shader editor we'll use nodes this time we have to use linear so light fall off let's start with zeros oops and let's increase the strength and then smooth it out Place the strength and then smooth it out. Now, if we try to move our light, we can get different results. So now we can pretty clearly see our class without any problems. Um, so I want to add another light. So let's add another light, a point light. Let's make this like a normal 50 watt bulb. So let's go there and we'll place it. I don't know. I want to catch those highlights. Let's do this. Let's add another light, the area light. Our X90, our Z180, and we are going to place this right about there. So we want this about right here. So I'm going to move that. Put right there. So we can do the same thing. I'm going to shade editor use nodes light fall off you can also use IES lights that's like the best thing uh, you can do and let's start with zero mm. let's bring in the strength then smooth it out so what that looks pretty good it does look pretty good and what else we can do so now what we're gonna do is I'm going to make this light a warmer light this a cool light and we are not going to use these colors so let's go up right here let's use this light okay okay so Let's take this light, go into shade editor, and we want to use the black body temperature. So, about uh, so let's go and Google some Kelvin scale. And a good classy day and a sunset kind of look should make this render bit cool so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna use this cloudy day if that works 7000 
so it's like that and let's go it I want another light should add it oops revolt let's make this the warmer light it's going to shed editor black body let's take a good value mm. so about uh, 3200 looks a bit right so let's try to put in that it looks a bit better it goes with the whiskey and let's try to add the same 3.2 and this one you can uh, try different things with this one actually so let's go into the shader editor black body 32k let's try to put in and it does looks really good uh, about the floor however uh, I think a little less roughness will make this in pop something like that I can use a clear coat so it gives us this fractions and smooth this those edges a little bit and uh, I think it does look like those anime styles uh, glass we are just going to recomp our scene not pick this cam and just bring it right up here now we're gonna hit render let's see how it looks There's still some climping. Okay, so let's close this. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. I think it's to bring this a little bit up. No, don't see this okay let's hit and again and now you can see if we have created the perfect glass of whiskey As you can see, uh, this thing is complete. So what we can do is um, check our geometry real quick. I thought it was pebbled. Uh, it is. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. No problem with that though. However, this sucks. So what we gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna make another plane, and I'm going to scale it up. All right there let's try this this looks pretty good I guess so guys this is how you create a normal glass or water shader uh, always remember the index of refraction and other properties so uh, this is how I created this with glass of whiskey and it kind of looked like uh, uh, anime style but uh, at the same time it can be photorealistic but my lighting setup sucks so I'll show you how it looks in real life uh, so what we're gonna do is we'll just delete these things Let's create, uh, let's turn on the our HDRIs and now we can see this looks proper glass and
one thing I want to show you is um, uh, how I used to do this is like shift A G or like just or just bring out this thing out so like uh, you can see how the both uh, materials are done. Uh, the idea is the same for same thing uh, uh, idea is the same for both objects uh, you just have to um, see and uh, see uh, how each of those liquids or materials reflect in a different reflect uh, or uh, transmit light or uh, acts toward lights in, in different ways and uh, when you are doing this type of renders always remember this thing uh, the, the reflective surfaces because uh, it helps in uh, reaching the photorealism uh, this can be improved uh, I do want to sh uh, show you some other uh, test I've done and I created one more with glass uh, so this was the first try I I made and this looks pretty good because it has a, a quite a big base and uh, I think that's the key to the photorealism for with glasses alcohol glasses uh, which uh, you can see I have not done in that uh, in my this tutorial so this was kind of perfect I guess rather than that one as you can see is mm, as you can see uh, this does not have a big base and you can see it looks more like a uh, laboratory beaker more than a whiskey glass but uh, this will work for me I would drink a whiskey in a bigger glass yeah um, so yeah guys that's it for this tutorial and I'll catch you next time peace